All right, 26. Oh yeah, here it is. For those who like speed and motorcycles. So this is Highway 9. Way up in the uh, mountains. This, they, these people love to drive fast. When I say love speed, I mean, I get that, but you don't want to. I mean, this is extremely dangerous. Very unwise. There are many crashes up here. So, it's better to love speed at a distance. Not actually engage in it. So, Anywho, what I'm what I'm doing here is introducing you to an area I go every year, a couple times a year, maybe more if we want to, and we do a thing called night school. Now, you, this is spooky even in the daytime. Imagine this at night. Kind of scary here. Over there is a parking lot. I'm going to take you down the trail where we go. And we come out and we just chat. And we talk about nocturnal life. Uh, the moon. We do some poetry. It's all voluntary. You can speak up if you want or you don't have to. Or you can just listen in. And uh, I'll tell you at the end of this video what we do. Those who come... Sorry about the background noise. I mean, this is Highway 9. People love to race on it. Exciting, but very dangerous. Uh, I have a friend who crashed, I think, on this road. And he ended up in, a, I think, a body cast for a while. So... Please, when you do begin to drive, drive safely. Okay, so we're almost there. It's actually a lovely place. Yeah, well, that's kind of creepy looking, right? Imagine that at night. But you don't have to come out here. I'm out here, and you're at home on Zoom. So what we do is we come up, we talk, we do poetry, we uh, share thoughts. Because I love the nighttime and I love being outside at night. Because it's a great time to resolve to live the right way. Stay on the narrow path. The narrow path. Because the narrow path, as you see we've been on, leads to beautiful destinations. Look at that. We're looking out towards the Pacific Ocean. You can't see it because of the mountains. But I grew up like right over in here, Scotts Valley. That ridge line and all uh, is where we used to go. People go get Christmas trees. But isn't this beautiful? Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. It's just lovely up here. So this is where I come at night. And uh, if you come, you get a kwai. And you get the opportunity, if, if you want to, you give up your kwai, and then I give you directions to a site where you will get breakfast treats for you and your family. Uh, first prize is usually around... Twenty dollars. In other words, it, 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 it'll happen on a Saturday morning, and you will follow the the map and the clues. I give hints and clues, and whoever gets there first at a certain hour gets twenty bucks in breakfast treats. The next one gets fifteen. The next one gets ten, and then no matter who comes afterwards, however many. That gave up their kwai, came to night school, gave up their kwai, and got the directions. Get five bucks of breakfast treats, uh, even if it's the whole class. That's fine with me. All right? 
Uh, I've even hidden things up here before. And it was exciting. We hid, we hid some, like a speaker in there. And, oh, it was fun. Maybe we'll do that again. Uh, I'll disclose this location later. My phone's getting kind of hot. It's a super hot day. Saturday to Sunday. Just got out of church a while ago. And uh, it is October. What is it? October 6th. So I'm going to head back out under the shade. Get in the shade. Get, you can't get under the shade. You get in the shade. <laughs> but anyway, it's a fun time. And I hope anyone who's interested will join us. Okay. 26, you're the best. Say, Jin.